Hi, Hiya, and welcome to Tykes TV. It's Neil, and I've got a special guest on it. Everybody's been asking for him. It's Steve. There's been a lot of shit going off at the club, and what I wanted to do, I wanted to get Steve's opinion on it. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about him. So, yes, yeah, Steve, I'm going to hand it straight over to you, mate. It's good to have you back on Tykes TV. Where do you start? Where's it all gone? Where's it? Where's it? What's uh, happening? Thanks for asking me, Neil. Yeah, much appreciated. Uh, not being on for ages, and thank you to subscribers for asking yeah. for me to come on. Hey, oh, God. I watched our looks yesterday, so like me, it's pounding like it yeah. is what. Hey, well, everybody's pointing to summer, aren't they? We all mm. upheaval. Uh, obviously, Ishmael leaving, coach going. Obviously, captain going, Mowit. <laughs> Physio going. CEO going. A massive upheaval. Upheaval. Uh, and I'm sure if it happened at uh, a few other clubs, they'd struggle, yeah. if you know what I mean. They'd, they'd find it hard, tough times. <laughs> We don't know ins and well, we do know ins and outs of some of them. Uh, obviously, Schmel had a by heart in his contract, didn't he? Moit were going anywhere, his contract were up. I know they did try and keep him, didn't they? Like, board, but obviously, you can argue all day about whether the CEO could have been kept a bit negligent, I think, there, because knock on effect to that, what. Paul Conway had to step in and do it then, didn't he? Yeah. Now he's not a CEO. I'm not defending. I'm not defending him, like, but he mm. to see it CEO. Mm. It should have never got to that stage where Dane up and left. But we don't know ins and outs of it all the way. Mm. The summit must summit must have gone off. But like I said. I'm not defending Paul Conway. He stepped in and it didn't work. Obviously, we let Coach go as well, didn't we? He went with Ishmael. Did we do enough to try and keep him? Mm. Players come back in pre season. Didn't look fit. Oh, going back to that with CEO and obviously with Paul uh, Recruitment, poor. Mm. Whether it's down to uh, whether it were down to Conway or not, poor. So we will be at, we will be out to black ball before the ball were kicked. Hmm. If you want to, if I like to use that, if I want to use that term, yeah. And uh, it made it hard for ourselves. So what more is this to say? It's like regarding that. Just what you mentioned there, it's like Dave Murphy's going and stuff like that. It always seemed to be proactive, right? You know, we, we never had a plan in place. And if you know that such as like we knew which captain were going to be going, we've seen his contract out. So surely mm. we've always we've always like said we've identified players in each position, so we know what we're going for. But when you look up, we never brought a leader in. And although we lost like his captain, we also lost a, a very strong will manager in Ishmael and his backroom staff. So when you take influential people out like that, like you just said, and CEO, you're left with what can I say, an experience. And we're playing catch up. Like I said, we, we, we're already yeah. snooker before we've even started. And we, we, mm. we, when you like playing catch up, recruitment side of it in summer, I think it was. I think Shop were up on a on an hiding to note, to be fair. And it didn't do us any favour, Shop, but when you look at recruitment no. side in it, we didn't exactly back him and help him out, did we? And like you said, well, the CEO, Paul Conway, a CEO is not, is he? No, no, and like I said, we don't like I said, we don't know whether they wanted Murphy out hmm. uh, or blah blah blah. We, it's funny you know what's come out about that, but Going back to that, going back to with Schlop, what I will stick up for him on this is, I mean, he got obviously loads of stick, obviously results, end of day, it's a results-driven business. But kid won't want to allow to bring his own backroom staff in. And yeah. that is, 
a big thing for a lot of coaches. You look at them, Warnock's, yeah. McCarthy. I'm just naming these. They've got people we have trust, tried and trusted, who they've had with them all the careers. Mm. So it was Delta Blow there. Obviously, it's coming from another country. You've got all this with COVID issues. I don't think his family were over here. Yeah. These little things add up. All right, he didn't help himself on the field, but, and it's a big but here, was the influences from above? Because there's murmurings coming out from certain parties mm. regarding the formations yeah. and the players would have been picked. Now, this slot did not play this 4 3 3. Never played this 4 3 3. He's come to Barnsley, he's playing it. Yeah. Right. Who's telling him? Exactly. Who's dictating to him? It's coming from somebody, right? A lot of saying Conway's sticking his nose in. Mm. We don't know. We don't know. Mm. A lot of saying recruitment team who do all spreadsheet stuff. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Anyway, so we move on then. They get rid of him, obviously, it results one thing. And then I think, so going back to that, what I've just said about who's doing this, who's doing that, don't they think to the same, well, that won't work in. Lee's sloppy charge, but let him play how he wants to play. Exactly. No, yeah. they get they get rid of him, mm. bring, another, bring Poyer in, come mm. from Sweden, Swedish. Not a... The fans want we we gave him a chance. You go you've got to give him a chance, yeah. right, everybody. Yeah. But I don't I don't think he won't answer, but it's carried on and carried on and carried on playing this four three three. Mm. And I think personally somebody is having an influence on the players who are playing. Yeah. And the systems we're playing. Yeah. And and then I see that other day about this. On the mark, lad. Wow. Is that, he, he had too much of a looking like he's playing odd game and come off bench and that. Mm. But if it's true what I'm hearing, the, the trying to convert him so to a right, centre half, yeah, yeah, or a, de a defender, yeah. Obviously, these coaches they're qualified, so they obviously know more than us. But, but then, but then, you see that other day about trying to get Knott's Forest game called off because we. Sh we're short to players, and then we let Sibbit go. I know I'm moving on to somewhere else there. But no, 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 it's right. I'm getting that, you know what I mean? Then we let Sibbit go. Yeah. And, and, and Khalid's come out with that, well, we're top heavy. <laughs> we're top heavy at back, so he won't want to force his way in. Well, no dis disrespect to Williams, Moon, mm. Kitchen. Yeah. Sibbit is better than them. Yeah, yeah. I think something's gone off behind scenes with him. Yeah, yeah. Because he played, he he kept Solbauer out at the team last season. Yeah, yeah. And we were we were questioning that. Val gave him his chance, and he looked all right. Mm. He looked all right. Plus, looking to next season, if we do go down, which it's looking like that way. Yeah, Sibby. Would have been all right in that league as well. But saying that, probably Williams, Kitchen and uh, Moon will be. Mm. But like, the the thrown like, moving on to Moon, like, Moon, Moon to me is being thrown to Sharks. Yeah. Uh, thrown him. But like I said, I don't think the coaches are having a proper say. I don't. No. I, I and, 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 Go on, Neil, sorry. No, it's just right, what you were on about of here with uh, coaching that, and I saw all that, and when I saw that with Undermark, I'm thinking, why do we have an obsession of trying to play players in a different position and try and convert them into that? It's no. like what you said there with Civic, is that he weren't the best, but he were better than what we have got now. And yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, it was. Yeah, and I remember it was stoke away this season, there was well, something go off because shop came out and it warned him the squad because of disciplinary issues. And ever since that, he's never been entertained. So if something's got to have gone off, but again, it's like just address it and move on. 
But no, we just seem to have an opposition like you just said via on the mark. Oh, we're moving into defence. And if we need someone in defence that we're top heavy, like we've been told, why are you trying to convert a midfielder into a bloody defender? Yeah. Go out exactly. and get a defender. You know. Exactly. It, exactly, mate. It just don't add up uh, no. a lot. But but you see, it, everything with what's going on, it obviously knock on effect from summer and everything mm. what's going on. Uh, obviously. The seven hundred and fifty thousand uh, issue, yeah. West Ham closure issue. Uh, I know people have been moaning about them. Uh, what they call it? Vouchers. Oh, them vouchers, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't. I wanted that, so I didn't get one. Uh, and obviously, recruit. Uh, obvious uh, issue with Kane at Oxford. Yeah. There's pros and cons to both with that. With Kane, it's like. They don't want him back. Does it tell you they've given up on season and, and taking relegation mm. uh, by not having him back? Or is it? And obviously, money, money will money comes into it. Oxford yeah. will be paying us money for him, yeah. so that comes into it. And I'm thinking, I looked at table, and we're a bit of tweaks here and there. This is me. Be, I never give up hope, you see me. I never mm. give up hope, Neil. I looked at the table and it was doable mm. if, and if, and it's a big if, they brought two or three in, but they've got a bit right calibre. What we need, I still think we, uh, well, two midfielders at least. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely one, but I'd have two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, but change the system to a five, uh, three five two and a three midfield. Mm. But uh, but mine uh, would have been two older heads. Yeah. Or what? At least one older head. We probably Benson or Gomez and Styles. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I think the poly, th This is one of my, my biggest. This is it is probably the biggest bugbear that I've got mm. against. The way go on this, how they, they run it with uh, go on with spreadsheet. Sorry, yeah, can't think of it. Not having experience, we had it other year. We brought Saul Bauer in, Rick Smyer to an extent, he won up, but he won't that old him like Saul Bauer. Matty James for first half a season, all didn't we? Yeah, we, we had Matty James, like they knew they knew more what we're going, yeah. Matty James should have been signed, yeah. Matty James should have been signed, but I heard he spelled it on him. Mm. And a lot say, well, football, what we played, it didn't need him. Of course it needed him. Indeed, yeah. We've just didn't know what, what we said about he was a captain and he was a leader on pitch. And he would have helped Benson, Styles, Gomez, all this, that, and other. Exactly. This is what I don't get about the call the same businessmen, our owners, mm. buying these players and selling them on. We know we've always done that and we get that. But what they don't fail to realise, having a Matty James in your side will bring these players on better, quicker, better to get the turnover. It's like when Anderson were playing at side, Anderson looked crap. But after a couple of years, because he played at side in another centre half... He developed, didn't he? He developed. And then, obviously, Alex don't say mm. So, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. a, a knock-on effect. Have the two or three experienced players, like a centre half, a centre mid, and a centre forward. And it's like, yeah, it's just like any business, Steve, isn't it? Any business, any no matter where you work, you're going to get some young ones in, but you always need that old red, that experience, and that's where you, you learn. Know. You know, and football's only the same, isn't it? And this is what makes me think that they're not yeah. bothered about. Hmm. They're not bothered about the football side of things, Neil. Yeah, that's what makes me. Not only me, thousands of others. It's like that's secondary to them. Yeah, but but even you know what I mean. I'm thinking to myself, well, if that's the case, then I can still have James in my side. He brings them on quicker. They're turning over money quicker. Exactly. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes a player like such as the your Bensons and all that. He's struggle, he's struggling, but in a couple of years, it'll be decent. But we yeah. can't afford it for them to. We, we haven't got luxury for that, have we? Yeah, we haven't got we, luxury. We, we, we can't, 
but when that's got James in this side with with them yeah. carrying them, they do his running for him. James can play players like that. They don't lose it. No, they play no. with they play with the brain like the, you yeah. know what I mean. This this. It's the knowledge, in it? The knowledge, what they have. The, yeah, well, first few yards is in the brain. What they, yeah. what they ain't got in that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Styles and Benson, and, they'll do all the running. They'll just captain or manage on the field. Yeah. And I feel, and I've always said it since these owners took over this, I've always said it. You can go back to my videos when, when our loot were doing it all times. You've got to have that experience and leadership. Yeah. 28, 29, 30 year olds, they're not past it. No. no they're not past it. This modern day football now, they're fit as out. So, it, of course they uh, are. And people seem to think, oh, they haven't got a sell on value. Yeah, they have, because it's all upstairs. The knowledge is upstairs. But They've learnt the trade. They're passing it on. But the thing is with James, though, uh, Neil, they've missed the trick there because he yeah. could be the, the, you, you're playing him, but then he could be coaching. And Exactly. To view, and then when he, he does hang up his boots up, he's got a coaching job. He's come yeah. from Leicester. Yeah, he's come from Leicester, so he's worked under good managers, worked, played with good players, so he'll be knowledgeable. And if he wants, when obviously when his time's come to back in, you've got him then there as. Um, but then it all goes down to money. Then this, mm. but what I'm led to believe, they offered Moet. Uh, I don't know exact figure, but he was going to be highest ever paid. Yeah. Right? So I don't know what figure it'd be. Now, I'm sure they could have come up with a package for James. But like I said, Neil, keep harping on about it, like we sound like a broken record. I just feel they're not interested in what was off on field. They're not giving us a chance on field. It's like, it's come secondary. We know we've got to sell players, mm. but not to this extent. It's like one to 11 have got to be under 25. Mm. And hopefully they're going to make money on them one, two years down the line. And because of outlay, what they are hardly paid out for them. Mm. So if some of them don't make it, yeah. they sell them, they cut the losses and they're not losing. I get that. It's good business sense in a way. Yeah. But, it, it's to detriment uh, uh, results on field. Yeah. It's, well, we go to watch a team try and win football games, but they, 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 they don't see it as that. Yeah. Well, they don't want us to lose, obviously. Yeah. But they're, they're, but they're more important. They're thinking more of the players, of their investment, and what yeah, they can get back what, off it. Right. Everybody. It, 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 they are bothered if we get relegated, hmm. but it ain't a big issue. But no. it's not a big issue because last time we were in that league and we come straight back up, but we had a good side. Yeah. And then players, your Moors, your Pinnocks, your Lindsays and that, all the salt, were not back of that promotion because yeah. teams in championship and that looked at them and that and we come back up and they got money for them. Hmm. But let me tell you this now. It's going to be a hell of a lot harder next season. Oh, tough and all, yeah. If we go down, we've got yeah. to we've got to cut us cloth accordingly because at, uh, FFP. Uh, you look at teams uh, already in League uh, One now. There's some right teams exactly, in there now. Exactly, exactly. Sunderland's been in four or five years. Yeah, Pompey's been in a bit. They've never got back up since they went down a League Two, and then they've been stuck in it. It switch. It switch. They're finding it tough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Wigan's thrown a bit of money at it, and they like. I mean, they got took back over, and they've got back. You know what I mean? They've got. This is my worrying. You know what I mean? they, my worrying thing oh, is sorry. is that we're like we're coming into like last few days of transfer window, and yeah, this sibic has gone. Your freezer went. Ben Williams is gone. But the only thing what I've heard is that we might be bringing in a, a lone player, a striker from abroad for six months until end of season. It's like. So what is his intention? That for me is saying, right, we just can't get geared up for League One. No intention. And when you yeah, look back on last time we went down, they brought George Miller in on proviso, oh, he's going to be at League One. So we, 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 we like planning for it. He, right. Yeah, well, he what? George Miller, when did George, When did we sign George Miller? What year was that? He, oh, what it, what it, Oh, I under Struber it, when we stopped. I think up. it was under, yeah, it, uh, yeah, uh, uh, but we did uh, oh, yeah, scared that, didn't we against uh, Brentford, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, definitely. You've, you've nailed straight up. We said that when he brought, he were brought in 
because he would have been like uh, He'd have been his, main, his main striker. striker in League One. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they obviously Woodrow probably had gone Monday and yeah. uh, and whoever else we had at time like it. I can't remember. Bloody don't serve me well. Yeah. But yeah, it's all secondary to him. And now, Pete, the fans, a culmination of what gone off in summer. Mm-hmm. Because, like you say, it were a bit negligible. Some of stuff like CEO and probably Murray were a bit negligible. I'll, I can't, you can't really do all about uh, Ishmael and Mowit. Mm. Well, you can try and ask them to stay. That's all the best you can do. But, but it were negligible with other. And then I could even throw what they call it in uh, physio on Huddersfield. Yeah. Some it, some it, some it tells you there's not some it's right. not right at club. Uh, but like I said. This 4 3 3 is not working. Some of the players aren't good enough. Right? No disrespect to players, no disrespect to coaches, they're fetching in. I think they're just, they're just, they're, well, these coaches are just puppets. Yeah. For somebody's play, for some, for somebody upstairs, it's the play toy. Yeah. And we aren't naming names or we aren't them coming out with. And you know what? I think if they, so they did tell, well, <laughs> Same with West Ham, we know why they didn't. Oh, yeah. But you know, if we heard it from their horse's mouth, the bars of the public might turn around and say, right, fair enough. Yeah. Blah, blah, this, you, that, other. It, but it's how they're going about things. Yeah. It's how they're doing things. They're having all these meetings with supporters. Uh, go on. Local and Galliot supporters. Yeah. Trust. Take me yeah. off to them too. Yeah. They do a lot of work, both on them. And all other lads who's on supporters trust, yeah. all volunteers, and they've had these meetings with Khalid, whatnot. And they've had them with other people in the past, hmm. and all that stuff. What Skyen asked is not answering because it needs to be Conway. And I think now yeah. reading because I go on BBS, I, I can't comment, but I read on it. I hmm. can read on it like, and uh, they're, they're trying to get a meeting with Conway. Whether he'll answer, whether he'll answer these questions, well, you know what I mean. But because it were interesting, because you know I... questions what were getting asked at bat, and yeah, hats off to him. But we're asking questions in difficult circumstances, and a lot of time, even Cleve will turn around and said, "Well, I want here at the time," or that's a question for Conway, and it's like Conway should be held accountable for it. He should be here because he were at. Like you've said, Steve, he were acting for CEO at the time before, you know, he, he was like that bridge gap between well, Dave Murphy and Cleed. So he's got to be answering, taking on responsibility and taking these questions on. But it's like left to someone else to try and defend him. You know what I mean? And questions yeah, were getting but, asked, you know, it just can't work it out. It, but he, sh- he, sh- he shouldn't be doing it. He shouldn't be mm. doing it. He should have turned... Well... I know he's employed by club and obviously Conway probably does all hiring and firing, blah, blah, blah. But Khalid should not be doing it. It should be Conway. This is the, they've had four meetings now. Mm. And we know he's out at country, but if they get it sorted, it's we're now going into February. They're trying to get this meeting for yeah. if he's going to accept it. Right? It should have been him from start. He should have been coming out from start. Mm. Or Going back to this with West Stand, it should have been sorted in the summer. Yeah. They know they were, they know they were a shortage of stewards. They know because of pandemic and COVID and this, that, and other, that's a lot to blame with it all. And they know. So if they have politely spoken to all the season ticket holders in the West Stand and tried and, and tried the best to try and accommodate them. And explain and talk to them in communication. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the, the lack of it, mm. the lack of this has caused a lot of this now. Yeah. A lot of, well, I know a few who's, who got a refund. You've lost them for good now. Yeah, they've gone. You've lost, yeah. you've lost some fans there who's been going 50, 60 years. It's absolutely criminal. Yeah. Absolutely. And this all boils down to now as club and as, as a community. They don't get it. Conway don't get it. I no. lose Conway because it's like... Well, he's a focal um, point. At the end of the day, he is, you know, the co-director, isn't he? So he's... he's well, he's he, is, he is. He is, but, but I'll use him. But they're all 
they're all accountable. All lot yeah. of them on yeah. board, and James and James Kahn as well. They're mm. all accountable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've, I've spoken to Goddard regarding you know what that yeah. uh, thing. I think uh, more professionally, it'd have been better. MPG out. Yeah. Blah blah blah. But that's for another day, like because it, it looks like they're just signalling Conway. Mm. Whilst whilst I agree with what they're doing, with principle what they're doing. The broader. Uh, it don't. Yeah. They, they, they don't look good, Conway out for mm. me. You know, I have yeah. spoke to Luke, uh, got out about it, like, uh, and, and he said, and he said it'll be sorted, like, so hopefully it will, because it's just singling him out. Mm. All lot need to go, mm. all the lot. Clean sweep. And, and all this, well, I'll be careful what you wish for, like, from a number of fans this time. Over. Oh, look. <laughs> saying what we're going to do without any owners. But what have they done? Mm. You might as well have a businessman in from Barnsley who's got no money, mm. who cares what club. I'm talking about here now, caring about the welfare of this and the other. Yeah. Right? These don't care. They don't care one bit. They've got no they connection just... to Barnes, have they? Yeah, obviously, crimes have, have, yeah, but the rest of them have got no connection whatsoever with club, the area, the, the community, not... have they? I'm not... They are, they are, and I'm, what I mean by that is a businessman from Barnes. I mean even a businessman from somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. But we do, we do deal. We, I'm not just saying I want to. It would be nice if we could have from Barnes. Mm. It would have been brilliant if somebody from Barnes had took it over. Yeah, yeah. Who supported like Cryan did because Cryan cared. Obviously, mm. it would be brilliant that. But you, you'll never get that. I don't think there's any millionaires, billionaires in Barnes anyway. <laughs> uh, but. You know what I mean? But the, I think the thing is, different, yeah, I think the thing is with different of these is that because we've got that many clubs in the portfolio, the, 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 it, it's not really a connection with it. It's because, oh, well, well, we'll see what Nance is doing or we'll see what his team's doing in Belgium or, you know what I mean? They're all yeah, making that, money for him. So we've got no real, oh, Barnes are losing. Oh, sorry, well, but I, we're making money. And I don't like that deal. No. I don't like it. I don't too like many it, fingers is too just... many pies, isn't it? Exactly. I just wish they owned us. Yeah. Right? The passing players here, there and everywhere. It's just that they want to be careful because if somebody looks into it, they'll say something's going off here, what shouldn't be? I've had my concerns And, and then, it'll, yeah. ba- then it'll, ba- it'll backfire on club with mm-hmm. whatever sanctions. But I don't get it. I totally don't get it. Concentrate on one club and build us. Yeah. Build us. We've always said, and I'll keep saying it, even under Cryon and owners before that, Going back to when I first started, we know we've always sold players to keep yeah. the club going. Nobody's got a problem with that. No. But and we don't expect them to go out to spend millions and millions and millions. No. But what we do no, want we... is someone to come in and actually care and be committed for cause yeah. for us as fans, a passion. But, but, but put the, put the uh, results and performances on field first yeah. before hotels. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's not what it's all about. Winning, going to foot. We might as well go and watch under 18s. Yeah. Or Academy. Yeah. That's what we might as well go and watch because this is all it is, our team. Mm. But they're playing in Championship, which is probably fifth. Oh, yeah. Fifth best league in the world. In the world, yeah. After, well, well you see stats German, and that. Yeah, yeah, you see stats six, and that. Yeah. It's probably six. Is, Fifth for six, best, you know what I mean? Yeah. And all we're using it is like an academy, corner shop, stroke corner shop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, to make money for these owners. And, right, that's okay, but let's see. So, but we want to see, uh, what's word? I can't think of word. We want to just see commitments. Yeah, we don't. We are, listen, we know they're going to do that. That's what we know that they're here for. But to, but to put that over everything else is totally yeah. wrong. Yeah. That's totally wrong. The fans are not going to wear it. And I'll tell you now, they've got a big uh, eye opener to come when uh, season ticket reminds oh, yeah. get sent through post. They've got to listen. I get it. That they'll be as loyal fan base because we've got fans all go no matter what. They'll go mm. no matter. I t- take my hat off. That's up to them. Mm. But I can't be like this, me. I, I, you know what I mean? I will walk away. There's thousands of others who will walk away. Yeah. I'll be one of them. Yeah. And I, I've said it 
<laughs> before and I've never done it and I've given in. But until there's a change, whether it's these who change or they're going, somebody else comes in, mm. that'll be me. It's got that'll to be, be changed. Me, it's got to be changed. It's got to be changed. Yeah, it's got to be. Because it's slowly, slowly killing that, club, in it? Slowly killing club, the club, the club, The club is now dying. Yeah. It's, uh, it's awful to see there'll be... And, don't forget there's people older than me who's been way longer than me. Mm. Obviously, some have stopped going because of, obviously, West, West like End. I mentioned, mm. and blah, blah, this, that, and other. And uh, there's people, generations of families gone yeah. together. And that's what we don't seem uh, to get, do we? We don't seem to get that at all, do Oh, we? no, they don't get... We don't get it. This is, they, no, they don't get... This, this, well... I'll use Paul Conway for a... They do it different in America. It's all different. In it, Franchise like, blah, blah, blah. stuff in it, yeah. Yeah, they, sh- they, don't, they don't see this. They don't mm. see community. No. The town, blah, blah, this, that, and other. But <laughs> I was having a... Call me a bit paranoid here, but I was having a conversation with one of my mates over there regarding all this. And we were on about... We said, do you think they're doing it on a purpose because they can't get their hands on ground because they're never going to, they yeah. never will be able to get their hands on the ground. And I think they wanted everything, yeah. obviously, club, everything. team, yeah. ground. The lot. And I, I said, I put it to him like, he phones me up like every Monday after weekend, talk about results and all mm. that. And, and I said, the, do you think I'm being paranoid? Do you think they're doing it on a purpose just to be spiteful? Mm. Because at the end it day, like end it day, Neil, they ain't got no to lose because they ain't put no money in. Yeah, but exactly, exactly. They could just walk away. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, they've had this seven hundred and fifty grand. I know it, it, it's illegal. Yeah, because other clubs have done it. Glazers did it at Man U. Some other clubs have done it. Uh, but that money really, was the clubs. Yeah. For us paying supporters, obviously, towards obviously transfers, this that this that general and they've used, people, yeah. Yeah, they, and obviously they've used it as towards yeah. the purchase for the club. It don't look good, but it ain't illegal. And I don't want them to do that. Mm. But they're obviously not gonna put any of their own money in ever, so they're gonna do that. But like I said, they've got a big eye up they're coming in summer if they're still here. Uh, oh, I'll drop in this and all. Uh, obviously, when crime were trying to get rid of the club, people say, nah, nobody were queuing up to buy it, this, that, other, blah, blah, blah. But how do we know that? How do we know that? How do we know there weren't any other buyers? That, that's what really pisses me off, that, because you, well, you look we, at our club, we, you know, we're relatively debt-free. We've got train, yeah. into a training academy. Yeah. Do we all to, we've got a lot going for us, us. Exactly, exactly. A lot of going for Exactly, us. exactly. Grounds in a good old location. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Debt free, which is the biggest yeah. biggest thing. Uh, you know what I mean? Who, who's to say that there weren't any, anybody else? We don't mm. know. No. You know what I mean? We are, we are well, crying, God bless, bless his soul. Like, can't, can't speak, but probably his wife can, or, or James, his yeah. son. Yeah. There, were, there might have been other parties wanted to, wanting to buy us. So, I mean, we can got bought straight away. Yeah. So, yeah. And let me tell you somewhere else as well. Derby will get bought. Yeah, of course they will. Because they because somebody will see potential because they're asleep. You know, oh, they're still they're a big massive. club. They're, yeah. they're a Premier League club, all right? They've gone spent above the means trying to get trying to get back to prep, chasing dream, trying to get back, but they're the mar- same as Wednesday. Wednesday, big club, yeah. And, and, and then you, and then you look at you look at players who they're still signing and who they've got, and you think some of them we could, you know what I mean? Why, think, why can't we do that? Yeah. And then I'll go to Doncaster's just signed Adam Clayton. Yeah. I said this at the beginning of the season. I think he won at Birmingham, and Birmingham let him go, so he won unattached. So he yeah, went to free agent. The fee. Exactly. Free agent. I, I, I don't know whether he went to play in Australia or somewhere. Yeah, he went to broad, didn't he? And then he come back. Free agent. Yeah, he and went, it was like... he, is it Donny? Yeah. Is it Donny? I mean, 
Kid won it. Leeds, Leeds, Huddersfield, Bullet, captain. Yeah. Good player in midfield. He'd have been one. And we could have, we've let that shinny went. Yeah. Well, next to note. Yeah. But this is what we're saying. They're above 25. And he could have got, Conway could have got the Bars Republic back on his side. Oh. when Schlock yeah. went with the right appointment of coach. Yeah. I.e. I'll drop Warnock in. Yeah. Right, and say to Warnock, right, we're ripping this policy up, bring two or three in. Warnock could have been up phone, phone, pulling his strings. Yeah, he'd have known what, what, what one's are doing, yeah. Exactly, saying, right, Billy Sharp, for instance, Billy, come yeah. and do me a job here at Barnsley by the end of the season, we'll pay thee this, we'll pay mm. thee And there's an all lot. They'd be through in half an hour because that's yeah. respect they've got for somebody like Warner. Exactly. They would die for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go through brick walls for him. I'm all. I'm just using Billy Stark for instance. But no, but you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You you, you know players what Warnock's man, managed to yeah. like knocking on in the 20, late twenties, early thirties, who still can who still do a job. Yeah. And give us a chance of stopping up, and they could have said to Warnock. Right, Neil, we'll gear this much, keep us up, we'll mm. gear that. Yeah. He did, he, he did it at Rotherham over here, kept them up. When did they it in Millsborough? Did it in Millsborough, no? Yeah. yeah. Well, Rotherham were dead and buried when he yeah. went there. Yeah. Uh, a few years back. Uh, but it's because he knows what it needs, doesn't it? Yeah, and this is this all boils down to specific coaches that they fetch it in because at the end of the day, they will not fetch them in because they will... What's word... They'll clash. Take over. Yeah. They'll take clash. over. Yeah. Conway, don't, Conway obviously, spreadsheet mm. was on that recruitment. Do not want that. That mm. ain't the way to go. They don't want He'll see it as a threat, when not he? He'll see it as a threat to him. They will, but what I'm saying to it, for a short term thing, that's what he could have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is, and this is, then it comes back to what we've been saying, Neil. They don't care if we exactly. do go down. It yeah. They're not bothered if we go down. Mm. Honestly, they're not. They're not. They can take it or leave it because I, I think they they'll make. I think they'd make. But I tell you what, once there's better players have gone, because they'll have to go in the summer. Oh yeah. If they don't get rid now. Yeah. Because we'll not be able to afford to pay them in League One. No. They ain't um, got a cat in hell's chance of me making any money on rest at players. What's in? No. So I can see some dark days ahead. Yeah. Or us spending a few years in that uh, in League One. It's going to be another rebuild job again for years. Exactly. For exactly. years. The set, the set us back. Yeah. This has set us back, and and it's a crying shame because on the on the fact fact of last season finishing fifth, losing in playoffs, obviously two games away from uh, getting promoted to yeah. Premier League. This has happened. Yeah. And listen. And I want big, and I want massive on the uh, style of football. Uh, but listen, it worked. It worked at the time. It worked for with what players, what we got. Mm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And uh, going back to what I said about Warnock, players will go through brick walls. Yeah. They did the same for Ishmael. They bought into it. Players bought into it. And it worked. Yeah. You know what I mean? And on that field goal factor then, we are not kicked on because of, that's, well, whether it's stupid or not, statement or it won't best the seasons because we didn't sell any players off it. So yeah. then we went back to playing this other way to try and make these players more saleable. But let me tell you, some of them, they look worse than what they did last season. I was going to say, Sorry, it, no, you're right. I, no, oh, you're yeah. right. It's, uh, it's just, just done like complete opposite. Uh, just, just done complete opposite. And like I said, these players, what we did have, it's just gone like absolutely, it's just gone like full oh. circle. We just doing, can you see me, Neil? I can't see you, I've Steve. Gone but off. I can hear you, mate. Hold on, oh, I'm back on. Got, yeah. And, and these players that we've got at minute, bearing in mind we had these worse. players last season, we've it just gone full circle. And again, you, know you, you look at like the manager not being strong enough. And I, I mean, if, if, I'm, if I'm working in a company and my CEO comes out and said, well, yeah, it won't right go see because we didn't sell. I'm, I'm thinking as a player, me, I want half this club because well, I'm not getting appreciated, respected. Well, well it, it's funny. 
group, that could be attributed to some of the players and because no disrespect to some of them, the body language has been appalling. Yeah. And it that might be case, Neil, what yeah. you're saying on about okay. this. And we what and with what's going off at the club, with everything what's going on, they're thinking, fuck this. Yeah. Why should I be bothered? They're not bye bye. But I'd like to think that they want because they owe it to fans who, who's coming to watch and paid their wages, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And professional professional pride. Yeah. But 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 I can see it. I can see like the styles and woods are thinking, why the fuck should I bother when yeah. these fuckers aren't bothered? I can yeah. totally see it. Yeah. I can totally see it. Yeah. But they'll not come out and they'll not come out and say it. Mm. Oh, but no. They'll, they won't come out, they'll not come out and say it, but I, I Listen, you can look at... There's a lot lot of factors what you could... But they will not come out and say it because it's not what they want people to hear. No. But I think us Barsley folk, like I said at the beginning about being truthful, like uh, Conway coming out and telling us and being truthful, a lot of Barsley pool, a majority of fans would accept it. Yeah. Uh, if they were told straight down the line... Yeah. Why you've done this? Why you've done that? Why you've done this? Why you've done that? I'm telling you now. I've always said it. This... Yeah, go on. Sorry. Yeah, I've, I've always said it, Steve. Me, if you get told the truth and it it hurts, at least you've been told the truth. If I'd rather do that than be told yeah. the lie and further that line. Yeah. Just think, I've been took for a right pillar here. But tell me yeah. the truth. It might I might not agree with you. And it might hurt, but at least you've been I've been jumped this up what... front to tell me, and we know this is what we're saying. On. This is what we're saying, Neil. Regarding West Ham, we all know, everybody knows what happens, but we wanted them to tell us. Yeah. Right, lads, we're moving it out here because we're wanting to put most of us in the way and so we can... Yeah. We can... Uh, Manage it. I get it. It, and, be, yeah. but it would have been a business point of view. Yeah. So we could get more money in from visiting supporters, yeah. gain more money into the club. I totally get that. Yeah. But it's how they did it. Yeah. It's totally how they did it. And it alienated, obviously, I think, Khalid did mention at that Q&A last week, other week, there were about 150-odd uh, took the season tickets yeah. back and got a refund. Yeah, refund. So, yeah. That, so we've lost 150 fans there. Yeah. Don't sound a lot, but in the context of it all, it, it, even one person... Even one's enough, does, isn't it? Yeah. It is, because it way, because it way it were handled, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, And when you've got things but, like that happening off at pitch... You can see it coming straight down onto the pitch, what it's doing to players and everything around yeah. it uh, in community. It's uh, it's just bad. It's there's toxic no, and there's no no the set off fan zone. The no now. Nah, I mean, I'm, well, I'm, end of day. I know, like I said, local galley, Ixie, few what lads who are who I know, they do it off their own back because they do it for love at club and they yeah. do it to try and put something back for fans. We entered that. Oh, I know a lot. Of, that probably were to do with pandemic and that, and you know what I mean. But I'd like to see that get back up. But it takes some takes some hard work doing it, and especially with what's going off. Like at the club, you think to yourself, oh, "Why should I bother?" Blah blah blah. There's people not turning up all season ticket holders. I get them. I get yeah. it. It pushes you back mindset, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it just pushing it mindset. I'm still away. going. I know. I know loads who aren't going. I'm still going. I'll go to yeah. bitter end. Yeah. Uh, support team. I don't support these. But it's a team. I wish they yeah. could change. I wish yeah. they could change. Yeah. And all this we've been saying, and all this what other people have been saying, and 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 changing me. They're just it's stubborn. It's I, stubborn. That's what I was just about to say about. It's like stubborn in the ways. It, if you just turn it's around stubborn. and I said, you know what? I'll hold my hands up. I apologize. We're going to have to do this because that and, and all of the ways, but we weren't. We just seem to be so stubborn and fixed on yeah. doing this all the time. And it's not working. And that, so if it's not working, and amend that, it, adjust it. Exactly, exactly. It's not working. It didn't work with slot, but we've carried on doing the same thing under uh, Poya. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. He'd have won by bringing Warnock, McCarthy, Alex Neal, or whatever, that kid from Plymouth who went to Preston. Yeah. Uh, 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 Law, Ryan Law, yeah. Ryan yeah. Law, yeah, did a good job at the end. He's, uh, obviously, Preston's took a chance on him. Yeah. Forward thinking, forward thinking, and all that. You get uh, McCarthy and Warnock, you get what it says on Tim with them two. Yeah. But but they know how to, like, some of these narrative 1-0, 2-1s, blah, blah, blah. 
we might have got a point out of we might have all sneaked to win, blah blah. They know what it's needed at this mm. level. Mm. And I know it cost me to it would have cost that bit of money, but oh money we've wasted. Yeah. We've wasted it on obviously slot. We've wasted it on this kid. You might as well not have Poyer. You might as well have not had Poyer. And just let kept, Lohman, yeah. and let Lohman do it. Yeah, just carry he on. He won't yeah. let the club gain a wage. Hmm. We've had to pay for that uh, from him. For oh, yeah, from Sweden. His contact at Sweden. Yeah. And then we've had to... What? What's, what? What? We might as well have given him. Yeah. Because I'm telling you now, he's not having a set. Oh, no. He's not having a set. No. I think all I say and is Evan, he's just watch, over, over watching training because he's not having a sound training uh, no. on football pitch. And you see him, uh, 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 see him on sidelines, boy, it's still beer. There's no like, you know, urgency, it's just still beer. And it's like, you know, pulling pulling strings above. Well, these are players you're going to play. You somebody, system I, you're on. But I'd like, to, but obviously they're, they're doing it. They're doing it, like I said, to try and make these players better, but it ain't working. No. So, so change it for yeah. God's sake, change it. You might see with I'd even go four or five one me and just um, I know it sounds negative, we won up, but Mekerson's hard to beat. Well, we've played we've, play, we've, play, Mek- <laughs> we've played three up front, we've only scored 16 goals, so it's not wicked. We've exactly. three up front. So what we've got to this lose. Three, <laughs> but this is what and, and I'll go back to Woodrow on this, right? Hmm. And he's got some criticism. I've criticised Woodrow because of his body language. Mm. I've criticised Styles, his body language. It's like they don't want to be uh, mm. Styles, uh, Britain. Yeah, it, that's what it come across on pitch. Yeah, yeah, right. But I get with Woodrow. Woodrow, right? This has come, gone from Struber there. From when Struber were here, this is my own opinion. If he's not playing in the two up from him and the target man, will use Keith Moore yeah. for instance. No point in playing. Mm. No point in playing. Club might as well have sold him. Mm. They might as well have. This four three three does not suit Woodrow. Exactly. And that's as it all, doesn't it? He's a goal scorer. Yeah. Right? Where, where that system's built, he's it, 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 not in right position. We're not utilising him, are we? Yeah, we're not utilising no. him, are we? No, so you play a 4 4 2 a target, man, we would draw off. Mm. So he could have played, I know Morris were injured at the beginning of the season and we missed him and he's out at the minute anyway with COVID, but mm. he could have been used with a big, strong lad like up front, like, you know what I mean? And, Devante Cole at the time, because we signed him. Well, man. you might you as know, well, you, so, you, you, I don't, but I, I honestly think when, I don't think Cole will fit when he first come to club, he got, he got some hammer, uh, yeah. QPR. Yeah. I mean, I did, I, I, I actually did, but, than thinking about it, I don't think he were match fit to be honest. Mm. Mm. But his, bo- his body language wasn't very good though, and that mm. gave it away with him. And I lost my rag a bit with him there at QPR that day when because he'd come off bench, yeah, yeah, they come off bench and he, he, he like, we're only on five minutes and he wasn't running. Mm. Uh, but for we honest, Woodrow up front in a two gets your goals, yeah. I'm telling you now, yeah. I am very surprised he's still at the club. I've had this conversation millions of times. I am very surprised his uh, agent has not got him a move away since when Struble were here because I, wa- I watch him. I watch him. He? I think... Um, yeah. I think that... Sorry, I think Before if he would just... All right, I think if he would have picked up that injury... For this month, I think he'd have probably gone because we're getting linked with West Brom, wasn't he? Uh, Woodrow at the time. Yeah. So I'm no, thinking if he would have had that injury, I think he'd, he'd have probably gone this window. Well, they've just signed Andy Carroll, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. They've just signed Andy Carroll. Well, unattached because obviously. <sighs> and when, uh, when Andy Carroll were at Reading, I, I read in reports, he were only like a right. bay blazes, a, a thousand quid because he just wants to right. play. Well, exactly. So the, Take a punch that's on another. Him. That's another player. Isn't um, it? Uh, exactly. We could. Uh, we are. I could pick an eleven players here yeah. who were on it. I mean, we've we had Butterfield training, right? We oh. I get. Yeah. I get that he, he probably was up to speed. Blah blah blah. But I'm telling you now, the seventy percent Butterfield would have still It'd been got- better than what we've got in the middle of midfield. 
Exactly. Let me tell you that, like I said about James, they'd have done his running for him. He'd have just sat in there, got yeah. ball, knocked it about, talked she to knows, him, shouted yeah. at him, yeah. organised him. A, 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 Neil, and that's not just on pitch, the, that's in training and all. He'd have been showing exactly. us stuff in training, wouldn't he? Exactly, and this, part, this yeah. is what... It, it just all comes down to the same thing. They don't yeah. want that kind of person and player at club. Mm. That's all I can think of. Yeah. Somebody who's older who's going to say things and, and this, that, other. They don't want it. They want it to be an happy ship. Yeah. With academy players coming into the team. That's what it is. It's, it's, it needs to change. And if they're not going to change, they need to go. They yeah. need to go. Yeah. And I get this club and I, and I get, I get, this thing with this Facebook group, blah, blah, blah. I totally get it. I just just point out there's a right, right and wrong way to go about it, but who am I to, like, interfere mm. with it all? I mean, I don't know who's involved with it. Mm. Uh, I, know, I know Luke is like him, but I don't know who other people are. Uh, I've, listen, I think they've done it off back uh, when I've gone back to regarding Loco and Gallia, obviously having all their meetings. Yeah. No, we're getting done, so they've decided to go that down that route. That's my take on it. So they've gone that, and it's all come out it up and looks in Chronicle today. And I, but I don't buy it, so I don't mm. know. Mm. He said he was, and he messaged me last night. Uh, but and I know there's been a lot of bit of what's word things going off with. That and BBS as well, because I read BBS. Yeah. I don't read what's on Luke's thing. Uh, and I know Loco has asked their intentions get, but so much coming back from them, they don't want them involved. I don't know, blah, mm. blah, blah. But I think... I think as all of us as fans, I, I, we all need to be as one, don't we? All as one. Well, as this it. is what I was just going to say. I think it all needs to be a united front. Mm. And I know where they're coming from a, on that, with what they call it, because in past, I'll be honest, in past, I thought they supporters just like, all right, they are involved with club, but more up clubs behind if, I, if, 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 if that if I can say that but when I read what it, it comes across very good local uh, you know what I mean with what it says whether people like like it or wrong you need to listen listen to them and that and I'd like Luke and all them who was involved with that and get involved with them because they are mouthpiece for club. Strength in numbers, isn't it? They are mouth mouthpiece. Loco, what? Loco, I'll tell you what now, Ben. I call him Loco. It's Ben's first name, isn't it? and uh, he wants everything what we've been saying, but it needs to be done in a right and proper manner. Mm. You know what I mean? And like I said earlier, they they have the trying to sort of meeting out with Paul Conway, mm. whether whether they get at all answers from. From port from him because if they don't, I think that would be, probably will be final straw. Yeah, because it's like you upset what he says, or and we keep going, and then club just goes under, under, under well, till it's gone. Good, yeah, till it goes. And I, and I and I get this from other side with this Facebook group. They brought it all out it up, and 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 I don't think club like it. Hmm. But it's had to, it had to be done, Neil. It's got to come. It it's it's to like done. come to an end, hasn't it? And now it's come to an end. Like I said, people, Loco and Gally, we, we best will it will, they've had all these meetings, no getting done, so they've took it on to do it, do it mm. that way. Mm. You know what I mean? Whether whether it's right or whether it's wrong, mm. it's all come out in the, all come out now. It's, it's got it in Chronicle. It's going to be on Radio Sheffield. Mm. I've heard he's got he's got some backers. Mm. I don't know till it all happens. We don't know, like um, I mean, I ain't spot till I, apart from him telling me what in Chronicle and on Radio Sheffield, I ain't spot to him at all about this Facebook mm. thing. But I've read stuff on BBS, and there's there's the 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 the, 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 the squabbling between the sense people's putting stuff about them on one yeah. people's doing point. You don't need it. You know what I mean? 
You, but, well, club will be laughing because yeah, they're thinking, oh, there's a div- club. There's they're a arguing amongst the sense, and that's what. Yeah, that's there's what's a happening. divide. Yeah, there's a divide. Yeah. Now, for me, support uh, trust. I know. Well, I, I believe uh, what he says. Loco, he's asked, asked, asked stuff, and he's asked, whether he's asked for the meeting with him. I don't know. Like, mm. but they need to get down <laughs> and speak to each other. Yeah, they need to get down and speak to each other. All of them. They need for to be good, for. Yeah, yeah, they need to be strong. And like I said, the thing what we don't want to happen is that if like a divide at fans, it's like we're all as it's strength numbers and uh, 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 people's having enough. So it's all about all being united as one, and all you know we've all had enough. We've all fighting for the right cause, but it's all getting along together and making this point and making it strong, and that's it. But like I said, yeah. for, like you've just said there. Club will be looking at it and thinking, well, we're squabbling. This, you know, this group's here is squabbling. They're fighting and they're having a argy barge of it. And it's like, it's a divide what's happening amongst us as fans. Us as fans should be all as one and saying, right, this is his intention. This is where we need to go. Let's have a meeting. Let's go for it and do it and get it on the table. This is what we want to go. But well, if I could get out of the local, like I don't, I know Ian on Facebook, he says he don't do social media, but hmm. if I could get out of him, I mean, I might drop on him a fourth game tomorrow. I'll have a word with him because it's obviously, we are, well, I'm, I'm not going to name names because I have been on that fit. I, I want to, I joined it to begin with, but then I come off, I come off it of a, well, I'll be honest, I come off it because of that, obviously that thing with this uh, name who were running it yeah. d- didn't exist, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. So I thought, well, that was a bad start to start with, mm. you know what I mean? It didn't look good to start with, did it? Like, mm. Mm. all right, I know the intentions are what they're wanting, like I support them, but that don't look good to start with, that. Mm. But that, that was up to them, like, so I come off it. But uh, what, what, what I was saying now, uh, what, what I was alluding to now before I said that, uh, yeah, they need to, like they said, they need to get their ears together. Mm. But all of them, all factions, all factions. I mean, there'll be some still sat on fence, not yeah. knowing who to go with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, some of them on that Facebook saying the two finger wick club, that they might be. But you've got to listen to what they've got to say, and, let, yeah. and, and obviously, local will listen to what you've got to say. He's yeah. gonna, it works both he, ways, doesn't it? Of course, it does. He, he, he's already said uh, they, they need to give up with this squabbling. They need to be stop with, with this bickering, mm. saying, "Oh, this, there, this, there, that, this, that, over." It ain't good. I'm telling you now, it ain't good. I mean, I ain't spot to local. I'll, I'll probably see him at game tomorrow if it's going like. Mm. He might not go, he might, he might be in hiding. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? He might, all fingers will be pointing at him. Because <laughs> it's, it's facing it all now. <laughs> so I, it's, we, he, I'm going to call him Martin Nettleham, Nettleham <laughs> when I see him. <laughs> it's been I'm great. Gonna, hey, up, Martin. hey up, Martin. <laughs> How are you going? <laughs> It's been great. Well, I'll be honest with you, right? The nose when it set up that thing, I said to our look, I said, it's got to have this. I said to our look, it's got to have this. This Martin Nettleton don't exist. <laughs> he's using it. He's you. In fun out, I'll tell you who he is. He owns win- a window place now. Yeah, like. it's been on thing on it. Yeah. That's yeah. Because <laughs> his distance is sent from it. <laughs> Well, it might, I say it might have brought him some publicity for his window company. A PR, yeah, you never know. Yeah, PR. you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Bless him. It's been great having you on, Steve. Uh, it's all else lot. we need to cover. We haven't talked about that tomorrow, either. <laughs> I, I got, uh, well, I got uh, your look on yesterday with Matt, so uh, we had a bit of a, he had a bit of a go and we covered the game. I think we all There's know too much, too There's much too much going much off of the thing, isn't there, part of the game? yeah. I can't. Well, one thing before we go, Neil, on about how it's what it's uh, driven me to this. Mm. Uh, uh, with everything what's gone off, mm. I don't even care about result anymore. There's well, a fair few like that, we, isn't there? yeah. We stopped one of the away games, as you know. Like yeah. obviously, our look had enough, and he's got 
obviously he's got a baby, so yeah. that was one of the main things. And we stopped going and uh, and result now when it comes in, if we've won, lost, drawn, hmm. I don't care. Yeah. And that's and not only me, there'll be thousands oh, of others like that. Plenty and then more all like these yeah, because more. of what's going off. And that cannot be right. That no. cannot be right. It's got to alter, isn't it? Can it it cannot be right, Neil. It's 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 awful. Yeah. I've been going since 77 on and off. I've been a regular since 06. Mm. But before then, I was on and off like uh, season ticket holder since 06. And so it hurts, 15 it, years. It hurts, doesn't it, being in this situation it where it, yeah, of course it hurts. It hurts. And there's like and listen, there's many more like it as well. And that, uh, uh, I know it passed. We've gone down and we've <clears> come back from it and we've come back stronger. Mm. But that's that's on pitch and teams and I can accept if players aren't good enough. Yeah. And we've rebuilt and come back up. But the things off the field aren't helping. That's the detrimental uh, in it. Yeah. And we will not come back. Yeah. Whilst ever that keeps going and going, it's like it's like a it's like a toothache, Neil. Yeah. Until you get it pulled out. It's always going to be there, isn't it? Going to come back and resurface exactly. again, isn't it, all the time? Exactly, Neil. All the time. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you all for watching. Um, Steve, I want to game on uh, a lot more. All being well, we might be have some positives, but at this moment in time, <laughs> we're just calling it for what it is. And there's no point trying to make positives from this. What little bit of glimmer of hope you can get out, it's diminished with all negatives, what's going on. Like what Steve just said, not just on pitch, but what's happening outside in it. And it's all going to come straight through. So, Steve, it's been great to have you on, mate. I really appreciate it. No doubt there's going to be loads and loads of comments coming in. Um, all welcoming you back and nice to see you. And it's, it's nice always getting an opinion from people because yeah. people always like say stuff and it's like, oh, yeah, same old. But you know with Steve, you see, you know what you're going to get with Steve. It's honest and he'll say it straight out it is. Yeah, yeah the people might people might not agree. Yeah, listen, it's all about opinions, mate. Yeah. Next person might say something different. But one thing what she what unites us is caring about club and like me and you said, we need to unite. Yeah. That's yeah. the word now is unite. Yeah. At this gotcha. minute in time, unite. Yeah. So on what Steve said via, and it's been a you know, it's what is just nail it nail that head via. It's time for us all to unite. We all want best what's for club. Um, we've got to try and get back through to the board upstairs and, you know, we want our club back. So one thing like yeah. I said, you Reds.